Welcome back. I really like this last pick from Gaiman. It is basically the timber saw that we were asking for in terms of it's a melee strength owner, but it is better than the timber because it will actually do very well against the Sand King lane. I think Gaiman found a very good last pick here with this Viper. And perhaps that fear and that momentum is exactly what Gaming Gladiators are trying to address so early on, shutting down the mid lane, but it's the off lane that is in trouble where Tundra find first blood on Tofu. Utilize the advantage that Quinn's created here. Oh, this is so cool. Him. Look at White Mon. This is so valuable for Thompson. Uses the enchant on the Centaur to get some good harassment. They're even going to try and go for the kill oh, with the last second okay. Centaur. for all thanks to this beautiful support player and White Mod who does die probably microing that centaur bit of focus on there does lose some of the focus on the safe lane and gets caught for it you alleviated a lot of that early game pressure Thompson he's just gonna linger up top look for a quick support pickoff the ghost will add some extra slow tofu for the creeps he's done he is done. Dude, White Mon is owning this early game. This Sand King now doesn't have to really lane at all, right? I mean, he's so proficient at being able to jungle. He could just play to these neutrals. They're going to let Soxa take the experience on mid. Maybe he dies for it every once in a while, but he's going to get some levels. And his Sand King is free farming. In the meanwhile, has to snowball to dodge some of the damage here, but he will be pulled back into his doom as Game and Gladiators will punish the support left solo in mid. But the, the uh, punish on the other side is Tundra going for Ace Bear here? Tanky. All those Lotuses, though, triple bracers, a hard kill Thompson. to be able to get, and Thompson has overextended himself, and Quinn puts him in the dark. Quinn is still dominating the lane. He's still decently ahead. Those rotations just add that snowball effect and give a lot of experience toward this. Chen has the Wisdom Root. Oh, the spear doesn't come out in time, and it misses, so Tofu manages to nab Rancy's away the Wisdom low. Rune, and he might even get the kill on Rancy's lobs out that Blood Grenade. A poison trying to latch, doesn't find its mark, and Tofu will be unable to get that kill, and perhaps is going to die here as Soxa is going to try and keep up with him. Tofu, is he going to go for the Ancient Deny? Dodges the spear, goes back to the Ancient. He's wasting this so much move. time. Trying to break some ankles, he will get brought down by the God's Rebuke, but as you said, more and more time, more attention from Tundra forced to their side of the map. There is kind of, though, that, that pressure to do something with that amp damage, right? Because you know the Sand King's just farming away this entire time. You've got to start taking objectives soon, and Duraccio, he's going to be in a bit of trouble here. Got him inside the arena. Ramses gets the pin as well, and they have the damage. Thanks to White Mon, again, showing up at the right place at the right time, hits the enchant to get rid of the win run. Back to middle lane where Sox uh, continues to suffer. Obviously, there's not much he could do about a Viper kill. The towers are getting pressured. This mid tower is gone. It's that amp damage room plus a solo kill for Quinn. He strikes back. Oh, Tofu spotted. Didn't hit the Inferno Strike. Will hit the Epicenter. That's going to slow him down a little bit. And the shards will keep him in the AoE. Sox, uh, make sure that Thompson is able to deal the damage. Either for the gap close to find your target, help the Viper out in the fight. That one did not save Duraccio Bottom, but he will make the rotation it's anyway. The win. Uh, nice shackle shot. Still, though, Duraccio's going to be surrounded by heroes. Where's Ace to be able to help out here? The Whirlwind is doing a decent amount of damage. Can't quite finish him up. The power shot misses. Thompson slips right past that one. Soxa is now going to be the target of Gaming Gladiators instead, but they're running through this Sandstorm constantly. Still, though, Soxa slowed down by another Blood Grenade. Oh, oh gets out. get his drinking buddies all the way to Thompson. Pulls himself out of danger. I mean, Sox of God right there. Gets the kill, gets the bailout. Even the Viper rotates up here, but Quinn is too late to the party. They defend this tier one top, and meanwhile, another quick kill for Ramsey's on this Mars. He got it last in this draft, and he's already put it to work. Three and zero start for him. Well, all three for their cores at this point. Thompson is not behind at all. Sox, uh, he's going to be running into a ward, so there's no way out. No heroes to pull him out with the Drinking Buddies this time around. He goes to the Creep Wave, surrounded by three. So he should finally pay the price. He's just going to do what damage he can, stall as much as humanly possible. White Mon continuing to exert pressure on the map. They're fighting for the 12-minute power rune. It's a dangerous rune Got him inside Quinn. the arena with the epicenter. He went for the save. He tries to stop Tofu's disruption. Looks like they'll have him surrounded and killed. But what about Quinn? He picked up an Invis rune, comes out of that one to try and put some damage on Ramses. He regrets that decision, though. Trying to use the stampede to get him out of here, but the chain stuns. Make sure that he's not going anywhere. Wait, the centaur stun. It comes through. Stalls him up. Still, Snowball gets him too, Quinn. Can't finish him, though. No more damage left in the tank as gaming gladiators pull all their heroes to help out their mid lane. Three points in corrosive skin plus 
all the Chen heal, enough to keep Quinn alive. So Gaming are the ones who are kind of pressured to find the pickoffs here. They're going to try and land this smoke on Ramses, but he did sniff it out, but not fast enough. Yeah, they smoked underneath the ward, but Ramses still gets caught in the corner of the map. As uh, smart play by Gaming Gladiators. Gaming still lingering up top. I mean, this is where their vision is. So ideally, they want to keep killing up here. Oh, Ace is there on the other side. Thought that Viper Strike wasn't going to be enough, and it wasn't. Ace really helps out getting that kill. 700 gold for them off of that pickoff. Tundra making a smoke of their own. Looking triangle. Only Tofu here. See some stacks that are happening. They know where the support is going off of those neutrals running that direction. And they'll get Tofu in the process. The arena makes sure that there is no escape. Yeah, they're just going to farm more of the map during these downtimes. Like, Gaiman need to group up and get an advantage. They're continuing to bleed some supports. Tundra just pushed the lanes in, making the better moves right now. Yep, they see the Chen. They see where he's headed to. They probably know where the other support is as well. They're going to wrap around, avoiding this high ground, making sure this smoke doesn't pop until he gets the arena on both the supports. A quick disruption maybe bails out the Chen for now, but Pura gets stunned up for a second. Now he starts going to work with the multiple supports grouped up. Still, though, the heals are keeping him alive for a little bit. They managed to get off most of their auras in time. Will it be enough, though? Tofu, he's going to be knocked one down. Another support, though. Chen is going to come back into play with a buyback. What a stop. He's gaming Gladiator. He's pushed through this one with Pura already going down. Next up is Thompson. Thompson hits the Stinger. A spear goes through, landing onto the center. Our Thompson's getting bursted down. Too much damage from Gaming Gladiators as Quinn Snowball Wade Soxa got him with the punch. This time around, he will hit his mark, and Tundra will find that the best initiation they can get is still not enough to defeat Gaming Gladiators right next to their outpost with buybacks ready to go. Ramsey's but maybe they're going to go for a second part of this fight. Nope. They call it quits. They say that's good enough. Meanwhile, Thompson trying to make a solo play. Yeah, very interesting, knowing that uh, since the BKB is on cooldown, maybe he could get a solo kill. But either way, it's Tundra being aggressive into an Aegis, which is quite the call. Thompson, he's going to go for BKB Bloodstone, see if he can stay alive the against all five, here. but there is way too much. Thompson, you have overestimated yourself, and now maybe you pill Pull Pure into a position he doesn't quite want to be. The rest of his team is cutting in from behind. Ramsey's made the call, though, to cut the wave. They're going to go high ground. They have a huge amount of rally boost from these summoners right now. Really helps the oh, damage output. Oh, no, the solar crest. Wait, the, the alpha wolf. The alpha wolf, he got the siege wagon. The wave has been cut. A glyph is going to be reactivated here. Put Thompson on the front line. Gaming will jump him. Thompson. No big. Oh, snowball save. That can let him get off the BKB Bloodstone, but they are going to be deep into Game of Gladiator side. Managed to get the blink away before the Stampede can connect there. And they'll get him back to safety. Game of Gladiators not being able to get that pick off. Now 60 seconds left on the Aegis. They get caught a little bit. They find the Shadow Demon on oh, the back yeah, side. Oh, yeah, they managed to get him, and they got him inside the arena. The Spear, though, he runs at the Centaur, so a self-disruption. But Tofu, wait, Quinn, he's taking a lot of damage. He's going to lose that Aegis. He had the Aegis still the second life. While Durancio starts going to work with the Whirlwind. Managed to get a Burrow Strike back. Tough is going to be okay for now, but Pure, he's leading in. He's going to go for Celery. Takes him out. BKB, TP up for Ooh. Quinn, but what about Durancio? Durancio doesn't have that same luxury. He doesn't have a BKB. Tries to hide. Nowhere to hide, though, from Tundra. And he is rewarded. Just stands his ground in the middle of everything. Gaiman did not have the damage. Versus a very strong Dragon Knight who's about to finish MKB at your shop. Saksa wasting no time to make the initiation because Ramsey's is up behind him and he's got a completed sight device and a spear to follow it up. Disable after disable. Game and Gladiators now have to use the Stampede to try and retreat, make sure nobody else dies. But Tofu, he'll fight the dust as well. Tundra finding momentum in this game, finding everything right now. Every jump feels good. This is a lot of HP to get through all of a sudden. You have four strength heroes on the front line, all with 3,000 plus HP with a pipe behind them. Effectively, it's so much EHP to get through. Tundra are trying to set the tempo. They're the ones trying to start the fight with this smoke. They found a couple of heroes, not who they want. They don't want the centaur, Ramsey's they don't want the fight, they want the back line, but this time Ramses finds himself, jumped on, oh, oh it's off! It stops the snowball save from Soxa and kills Ramses. Thompson. He's gonna fight back and try to come back in. Thompson! He oh, up. Thompson, Thompson, Thompson! A burrow strike from hell goes underground and he just rips Gaming Gladiators all the way down to the pit itself. A spear to finish him off and that
is a team wipe. And it only cost you a Mars buyback off of what was probably the best stun Ace could ever find in this game. The clock in this game has run out for Gaiman. This push did not come to fruition and Ramsey's he's in cleanup mode. Ramsey's perhaps trying a little bit too hard there, goes for something that they don't want to jump on. It's the Viper. They got plenty of buybacks out of Gaiman Gladiators. They got all of them. That's good enough. Is it possible for you to leave the Dragonite for last, or does he just oh, do too Duraccio. much damage? That may not be a question that they are ever able to get to themselves with Duraccio. Gone in a second. Does have buy. It's the one hero that had buyback for Gaiman right They're now. They're all setting up with this high ground ward. They're going to say, this is the only opportunity we have. We've got an amp damage onto the Viper. Maybe, the just maybe, we can pull out a miracle. But Pure's behind them. Thompson hits the Burrow Strike. A disruption save. That's going to help. So you have the buyback. A TPM coming in. Quinn actually. KB throws the damage, damage back out and then Thompson wait the snowball save again coming in from the supports of Tundra they're bailing out these heroes and Duraccio not gonna make it out the Death Reaper comes in with a sharp scythe and a wicked intent Thompson he'll join them along in death but he's done what he needed to do he has killed gaming gladiators killed their chance at this game one taking out their buybacks taking out their diebacks and they are out of this game one no contest the, the crowd favorite puts on a show in this first game. So why should all these people out here start celebrating White Mon a little bit more? He's like super humble and he's the last man in Southeast Asia is representing all the Asians. He's carrying the torch, not just for Indonesia, but that whole region. They are off to a good start with Quinn being able to get a D ward on mid, so he gets that extra bit of golden experience, but the side lanes Maybe falling apart a little bit there as they gave up first blood for the kill on Tofu and has shield crash ready to go. He can get aggressive on Thompson, but a couple of stacks up and he Quinn, he has to retreat. White Mod in some trouble here as the blood grenade should spell his doom. Gaming Gladiators not only get that kill, but also protect the Lotus, preventing the uh, Tundra team from being able to make it up. And Ramsey's also in trouble. Both side lanes suffering there. See what they can do with that one. A lot of stacks yeah, there. Five, five Shadow Poison stacks. Yeah. That's going to do some hefty damage. That's going to get the kill. Okay, even with the double bracer plus the stick charges, cannot live through that amount of stacking. Almost level six on this Pango with the rotation. And he goes through the gate, shows up here in the top lane. It's a disruption trying to lead into the spear, but Celery interrupts it, grabs Ramses, hops away. Can he make it out? The cookie lands onto him, stunning up for a second. Pure keeps the chase down. They manage to get that kill, but TP's coming in from Quinn. Oh, nice, nice spear. spear. Ramses stops the rolling thunder. Quinn still pops it though, hoping this to catch up stress. to these heroes. But yeah, by the time he gets there, they're already back to the safety of the tier one tower. Quinn. <laughs> even well, they're gonna try and turn. into the tower a little bit if they were that just was, a little bit closer, maybe. Yeah, that was very close to White Mon finding the disruption. And Quinn is still eyeing these stacks. But they're gonna go for Duraccio again, trying so aggressively to chase out these heroes. Celery tries to stop here from closing the distance, hits a two-man stun, but it's none of it's good enough. Not against the overwhelming numbers that bring him to this. Three heroes, Pure just keeps sticking around. And White Mon, he doesn't want to go into that pit for the danger of a, a bear popping out. This time, they'll hit the pit arrow, chaining the stuns quite a bit, but it's good enough. A level two win run certainly isn't gonna last long enough to get him out. Have Arena, you have Lasso. Well, theoretically, you have Lasso, he's 404. Support to a game of gladiators continue to find victims in the Radiant Jungle, it seems. His Topo, oh no, he's not gonna be able to get the vision on him. He misses the kill, and now his one leap is only gonna take you so far. Pure with the whirlwind will get some vengeance for that Didn't death earlier. Still gonna be able to get on top of those celery, pulls it back into Ace. Pure wind run coming up in a second. Too late. Quinn. You what a game. move from Ace using the gate to pull in Quinn. Quinn thinking about going back through, but he sees that Zoxa and Thompson are waiting on the other side. Ramsey stuck in no man land, did not respect the roll potential, and just gets caught out Yikes. on that ward. Two big core deaths for Tundra on this bottom lane with a nice gate from Ace, and which is kind of the idea here, particularly if you can find the Lone Druid. This is a slower buildup, however. Ramsey's gonna force the fight. Ramsey's put up on the high ground. That's a little awkward for him. Struggles to get down there to put some more damage. Looks like they have caught Celery, though. Is No, Celery gets the, the hop away. No other stuns, it seems, from Tundra. Is everybody? Now Celery gets caught in the river still. And they look for even more. Tofu will get away from Thompson in times. 
getting the power runes, getting to his items. Deep Ward does come out off that smoke, so they will find Soxa anyway. Trying to get a cookie down, but he, he gets pulled away from the ledge. Just needs just a little One bit more, more experience to get him there. And now they don't have the kisses to combo off this arena quite yet. Just got and it. as a result, they need more damage. Maybe Durachu can live through this. Now the kisses come in still though. Rams are gonna die for it, and so does Pure. So maybe they've killed the enemy carry, but they've lost their own and their offlaner as a result. With Quinn hitting the back line as well, it's gonna be more. Disruption goes out, but he's surrounded. He comes back out. Too many heroes to survive. Four damage. You got the enemy carry, but was it worth it, Tundra? Not at all. But uh, no luck oh, on Quinn. finding a kill, but Watch maybe Thompson. Quinn can find it somewhere else. Thompson, he tried to put himself up on this trunk area and TP out, but Quinn landed right on top of him, stopping that TP. So the best Thompson can do, try and get this kill on Celery. They actually need the extra help as Thompson's kind of tanky, so they bring in Ace. Ace will help deliver the kill, and back he goes. They would love to yeah, be able to jump in. Yeah, sitting on no HP, showing on the mid wave. Oh, he's going for that shield. I mean, he's dead here, Oh right? my god, <laughs> he is so dead. Duraccio, he put way too much reliance on his ultimate to give him the HP he needs. Dies before it even comes into contact. And we've seen, particularly from the Marana in this tournament, maybe less so from the Marcy. White Mod gonna be jumped underneath the tier two as we get back into play. Gaming Gladiators wasting no time to find kills. Still a ward for Tundra on the back, but it's going to expire soon. Quinn wants to catch Tops again. Does have a shield rune here. Do not let these heroes manage to cut waves. Quinn, oh, make sure to rune. get the punish on him. They did manage to get a rune, trying to prevent him from getting up the cliff and dodging some of this damage. Gaming Gladiators through again, gate. again, and back through. Ace needs some help, and he's going to get the full squad as reinforcements. White Mod caught from behind. These gates have been so efficient for gaming. Ramsey's, it's a far ways off here. Just gonna roll on him. See if they can chain stun him in between the mid arches. They've got him dead to rights. Ramses is out. And now Quinn's just gonna look for a little bit more here. See if there's anybody else from Tundra lurking around. And it's Thompson, but he is quite fast. Or just go straight to this tier two bottom. No glyph available. Yeah, th th this bear. It's going to take this tier 3 so quickly. Here comes the gate on through. They tried to go for Duracho, but he got up his ultimate. Him. He has a way more HP. Do they have the damage to bring down this lone druid? A hop in for the Pangolier. They've diced up Soxa, and it looks like this lone druid is dead. Can they do the damage from Gaming Gladiators? Anyway, what a beautiful spear back from Ramses. Managed to put somebody else isolated. It's the Marcy that goes down. Ace is on the run. He's low. Gaming Gladiators threaten the high ground, and they may pay the price for it. Though a Rolling Thunder catches Ramses, they try to push forward for oh, the tanky off laner. Poison. Now he's in some trouble. Poison after poison though is coming in. Quinn, he misses the swashbuckle, fails to get the kill on Ramses, and here comes Thompson. He's got damage. Quinn, a TP away, denied by Ramses. He said, were you looking for me? I was on the high ground, and now I'm on the low ground taking your life. Huge team fight went for Tundra. And Tundra, they're poking into their own jungle, feeling like Gaiman are split on the map. They're right about that. They certainly are. Celery, shackle shotted. Ace is gonna go in as well as Quinn to try and bail him out. Celery's still in trouble though, being chased by the pure will whirlwind. Got all these heroes oh, inside of the arena. arena. Ramsey's coming in from behind. Hits a really nice one. Trying to finish off Celery, still got the other support instead. Ramsey, he's not gonna alive. get it right now. Celery's actually bodying them. And pure, he can't chase after it either. In fact, he's in trouble right now. He needs to get out. Thompson though, he did the damage to bring down the Aegis Pangolier. Pure deep out on the map. He doesn't have a TP scroll. He's going to have to go through the gates. Yeah, he'll always just be able to run straight at the Pango, even if he's rolling thundered, right? That's going to be his best target. Cared up. Poke here. Whoa, Celery damage. hopping way past there. I think he was looking for the Shadow Team, and instead they're going to have to try and kill Thompson as the disruption's down, down, but the lasso pulled the bear back out. Now they're in trouble inside of this arena. The Batrider has been saved, and he can reset. Quinn, though, still oh, looking Thompson for it. Hit him with the rolling thunder. Maybe Thompson didn't back out in time. This Thought he could turn back around, did not respect the push coming in from Gaiman Gladiators. Gaiman, they still have a lot of sustain here. Nice tank there from Ramses, making sure that Pure is not going to be threatened by Eratovatos into Arrow. Now he's being threatened by a pit, has to use the BKB, chases after them with the Whirlwind, doesn't have the arena to keep heroes inside this time around. They're going for the bear, and they might just be able to oh, get him. Wait, alive. the bear comes out, stop the kids, it's Pure. Oh, a spear chases after him, but Duraccio's too fast. 
He gets ahead of him. Quinn's in the middle of this, trying to go after Pure with the win run. No, it's gonna run out. He gets taken out. Buybacks. Quinn finds his man. Buybacks being used by Tundra, but all of a sudden a 7,000 net worth lead has doubled to 15k, and the assault from Gaming Gladiators will be halted for now. But of course, you have damage buffs coming up. 30 seconds for the Solar Flare. All the auras are back up for Ace. Pure is just about to come back up. They need to try and punish Gaming Gladiators while he's coming back up. The arrow does land on to Batrider, trying to get him a cooking way. Gaming Gladiators chase and chase and chase and disruption. Still going after the Batrider while Quinn is disrupting all of these supports. Good hits all Ooh, around for Rolling Thunder while Salary he's and Durachi are doing some damage. Salary won't stop until he's dead, which now he is. Now the rest of the team without their big Marcy Carey apparently Pure are going to make a run for it. Durachi has used BKB. Is it Flee or fight. It looks far. like it's a fight. And pure, a fight that he can't win, apparently. A triple kill for Duraccio. Thompson's next one left. There's only two members of Tundra still alive. And now, make it one. Gaming Gladiators own the Tundra base. Absolutely rolling over them in the second half of this fight. Pure did not even get his BKB off. Just got roared into oblivion. And the buyback from Celery. This beast of a five is back. He wants Leap to end this game. over another one. Celery goes for it. Hippity hoppity finds the last kill of Gaming Gladiators. Tundra. They've lost their heroes. They've lost their base. And perhaps saving the best for last, the final day of TI. We'll finally get to see a game three on the main stage is Gaming Gladiators. This time around, their push works around a lone druid. The timing's just worked out way better here. This Pangolier controlled a lot of the map, controlled the fight. Thompson just felt muted in that game. This bat did not come online fast enough. Burrow strike, Sandstorm, and then a Stinger. That really adds up. I do like the Queen pick, though. This is a hero we saw Liquid go to yesterday that can really bring you that later teamfight scale. Duraccio barely dodging oh, a shard. out of the shards, but Looking maybe he can still get the kill, though. He self-denies. He says, you're not getting the first blood. I'll take myself out. And yes, it's Tofu. Gets it. He gets it instead. So because Duraccio makes that move, his ally gets the heap of gold. Neither team wants to give any free ground in this laning phase, which feels all important. Another unstable concoction, another go. This time heading to Ramses. Ramses doesn't have the scorched earth, the extra movement speed required. Shard separates him, but the burnout of the acid is more than enough. With the help of the pine cone, they're going to be able to get that kill. Even will take that every time, especially getting the extra experience on Celery here. Is he going to get this as well? The Siege Child is going to impale the back to him. Oh, so Zoxa, he has to pop the very fire. He's cornered, he's caught in a trap, and Celery. It's two! <laughs> it's going to be Celery who's going to give him his run for his money. Top lane, disruption goes out. Ace, the target here, the tanky hero. With the help of uh, White Mon, they might just get him, but there is a lot of damage coming out from this bat right in the meanwhile. Did a good amount to Soxa here, but now he's on the run. Doesn't want the courier, wants to try and live. A flame of trails, but the shadow poison keeps on tagging him. A fifth one. Would probably do the damage, tries to pull him in, hits that fifth one, White Monk gets a double. The way you can play around in this game is gaming, and it's a hero that just recovers a bit better. The Underlord, more reliance on winning the laning phase, and his laning phase is rough right oh, now. A, a Sonic Wave comes out for Quinn, he does save Ace, but it can't maybe get some kills. Epicenter being threatened, pushing Quinn away while the Slark tries to get out, but Tofu puts him down still though. Thompson, he finds Quinn, he gets that kill. Tofu still chasing after Soxa, will manage to get that one. So Tofu, the support is the one to clean up, but it's the cores who suffer for gaming gladiators. Look about going back in. Epicenter in 10 seconds. Oh, yeah, Ramsey's now here. They want to try and use this Doom nice and early. Ace, he'll be left behind. They didn't even have to use the Doom for that one. Sonic Wave goes Missed out for the snowball past him. He whiffs a big one there, and Tundra on the one in the water now. The little Slark is going to pick up a kill in Celery and get one stack for himself. Four permanent Agi for Pure already. Not the worst start for a level 5 Slark. He's going for the levels. And now Tundra gets to pressure the map a bit more with that cooldown. Thompson continuing to hunt here. Half HP doesn't care once the Alk. Yeah, Thompson's just not leaving him alone. The disruption set up into the epicenter. Burrow strike, it's close. A snowball needs a little bit more. And that, uh, the AoE and damage to the epicenter is enough. Thompson, don't get it, get burned out. Gets a little screen there from Quinn to finish him off. Stocks a, a wise TP out, allows him to be able to bail. They got their kill on the Alchemist. Scout Ace. If you're going to go for this big boy, 
You're going to need more than just the Sand King. And he's going to try point blank epicenter pearl strike. Need more damage. White Mod's here with a demonic purge and a jump forward from the Tusk. A Walrus punch. All three of them combined can put enough damage to bring down the offlane Underlord. Someone will get melted, but you have to be able to find them. And he got Thompson. White Mod trying to close the distance to get the disruption of Burrow Strike. Puts him in range. Now they hit it, but it's not like Quinn used many spells. He saved the Sonic Wave for the second part of the fight. Hey, Thompson, the amp damage almost getting save. a snowball. Pulling him out, pulling him out. Oh no, did Thompson manage to get away? What a save from Soxa. Every time these snowball saves have ruined Gaiman's team fight. And that's going to be tough for this hero right here, the Slark, to be able to deal with that kind of team fight. Thompson caught by the lasso as he tries to jump on a Quinn. Pushed oh, back by the flame break. break straight into the unstable concoction. No burrow strike save this time. No disruption either as White Mon's going to be caught up in the push forward from Gaming Gladiators. And we're, I think we're going to see him start to become more aggressive as well. And they're going to start off using the nighttime vision to get the leap on to Tofu. Will surely try to invade. Yes, it's going to be a hard one kill. Second. Chemical Rage, is he going to pop it? Will it even matter though because of the doom that's coming in? Ramsey's oh, pop he's stuck the Sonic off. Wave. They did get immediately. Finally it goes up. He's trying to make his run away, but the Pounce is holding him in place. Now the Shards keep him in spot, but who cares? He is anchored to a team fight that he's winning. And Tundra will be the ones to drop three. Pure with a Pounce away. Desperate TP out. Unstable Concoction will not arrive in time. It was a trap all along. Gaiman were more than ready to turn that play around. And that was your one last bit of nighttime to get the Slark active like that. Oh. Here will feel. I have to imagine that that and an Aegis. Game and Gladiators are gonna threaten your high ground, and Tundra need to be ready for it. They start off once again trying to hit Taracho here. This time out's off of a Bloodstone Sand King who's trying to hit his epicenter with a disruption. He's gonna be healing up a lot off of this one. Maybe not enough though. Another Without save. drinking save, they have the snowball, and it hits. Burrow Strike on a two. Thompson goes in, in to try and win the team fight. But will that stun be enough? Tundra feel like it's not on the retreat, making a run for it. Quinn chasing after a man to hit the pit on a Soxa, looking at a little bit more. It's going to be White Mod, the support. Lasso immediately. No, he hit the Dark Pack. Pure is able to take that one off, but it's still loss after loss here. They got the Alchemist, losing three for it. It's the big question in this game. Can Tundra hold on? Can they find a way to win a team fight? Get themselves back in this game. Blink Daggers are online. They spot Thompson thanks to a high ground ward and pull him back into his doom. It's a lasso, chain stun combination. Thompson still managed to get off his bloodstone. Oh, a disruption dodging the sonic wave. He's going to come back out. Can he survive, though? Not a chance. Duraccio just doing too much damage. Your saves are not enough. It's just a momentary respite until the sleep comes for you. The death four down for Tundra. Straight back to that tier two. Ramses knows it. It also means that Tarachu doesn't have much help. Oh, he missed the stomp. He still managed to get the Doom off, but it's after the Manta. Thompson's coming in with some extra damage, though. The Doom just means all this regen is just not working for this Alchemist. Maybe, though, they can still get some exchanges. Maybe they can still keep him alive. Even the pipe might. No, he takes out of the last what can one. Pure, do? Pure comes in. Can he do this? Because Thompson, he needs a little bit of heal. Fortunately, he got the shard from Pure, helping him out. Pure needs to use his own ultimate now. And he's going to stick around, trying to still finish off this Batrider, they've got him. Soxa, he snowball saved, yes! He gets him inside of it, but back inside of the pit, you're just stuck in the same old muck and mire that you were in prior to the disruption, prior to the snowball. Again, they kill the Alchemist, but the trade-off is just against Tundra. Pure still alive down here, trying to get something else out of this exchange. I mean, if he gets just one more kill out of this, it's worth it for yeah, Tundra. Some decent stacks at the worst. He might be able to bring him down over the long run, though. Gabe's Wait. gonna bring reinforcements. He's calling reinforcements. Somebody help! Somebody help! I need the reinforcements! Celery is the one to show up, it's and he actually gets him a push away with the extra help of the pit. Ace making a run for it, but Pure hot on his tail. Spots him. Body Boy, blocking Celery. Body blocking in front of him. Now Quinn's gonna slow him down. Pure is being kited, and remember, he doesn't have his ultimate, he used it earlier. One pounce, all he has, he slips past Quinn, but Quinn gets right back in front of him and pushed back into the team of disruption. Buys him a little bit of time, but there's nothing left. He tries to go into the trees, but Celery will hit him down with the impetus. The gate always signaling Tundra's doom as the reinforcements come, shut down that Slark, despite building up 40 Agi stacks. Pure cannot fight through everything. He can't get in deep in the fight, doesn't have the blink yet, can't snowball save anybody. 
That is a snowball safe that just might work. But once again, the pit is going to catch him. But he got his target out of there. Ramsey's making a run for it. Meanwhile, Aegis about to expire for Quinn. But he's going to dive into this tier 3 area to pick up that pesky support that has been such a nuisance in this series. Sox says Tusk. Still, though, the buyback can immediately use his. Looks like Ramsey made the call. He wanted to jump in. He immediately got silenced, though. Once again, his jump just does not grab Gaming Gladiators fully. Still gonna try for it though, off of the pounds. White Mod gets grabbed, managed to force tap down to the low ground. Both a disruption and a save from Pure. White Mon, he is backing away, so is Soxa. Tundra just on the edge of a knife. Looking to push his advantage, knowing the Gaming Gladiators have run out of certain resources. Again, the silence comes in, uh oh. Anything here? No, they managed to stop him from getting through that bait with the Burrow Strike. Is it good though? Durachio with the Shivas out. They have an unsettled Kagashi manage hit him with the Doom though. No Ramsey's got the carry in the Doom. Where is the follow up though? Pure is trying, but it's just hitting Ace's Underlord. He is a big, tanky man, but he will be whittled away by this Lark pit by bit. They managed to get him out. These the constant retreats from Gaming Gladiators not giving Tundra what they want out of it. He's just so close to winning a fight, but they can't have it. The Roshan Roar goes out, and Tundra, they're like, okay, can't do it, boys. We're gonna have to play back Dark Pact. It is going out and pure. He's making a scramble for it, but again on the other side. Managed to get the grab. Ramses hits his Doom Mark. They're trying to blow up this Alchemist, and they managed to get him. Quinn is also low HP. Managed to flick back, though. Hits a good dagger with that Aghanim Scepter. This damage is gonna start building up. Tundra need to start backing away. But Game the Gladiator's not gonna build a look at Quinn. A sliver of HP finally goes down. He loses his Aegis. Ramses and Thompson play to the trees, out of sight, out of mind. Game and Gladiators Pure going without back their in. Alchemists are gonna try to be the ones to retreat now. But Pure full HP, he wants more off of this one. He knows this is an opportunity to get as much net worth out of Game of Gladiators. Just one more core kill, which put so much into Tundra's pocket. But no, a Yule Scepter and a Blink away gets Quinn out of there. You just have to push through it. Thompson, he was a nuisance this time around. Oh, another disruption! It stopped the lasso initiation. Now Ramses comes in with his BKB. Still hit with a Sonic Wave on it, too. The Death Trap once They're again will help him out. They managed to get the Doom onto the Queen of Pain. A great target, and there's a full HP pure. And Thompson is going to board. work. Epicenter, Epicenter, slamming the ground, slamming Game of Gladiators. Two cores down. One of them's going to buy back to Quinn. He's back into play thanks to the gate, and will swing this team fight back to the favor of Game of Gladiators. Expensive. At least the end of it, but it is costly. A game of gladiators haven't managed to continue the snowball. They're so infamous for Now, oh, out. managed to get a pro strike on to two. They bait out the but power road to go for Quinn. Quinn's gonna be able to get away before the pounce lands from Pure. Missing that one, the epicenter finds purchase on nothing. And as a result, Tundra quick to retreat. But they are missing chemical rage for 25. And it's a much easier target to be able to get them. Got him away. Disruption is still there, but he has a blood stone, but he doesn't have the BKB. They're still going to try and burst save. him down. The depth shot helps or him out. He's got a first strike out. Thompson, tanky enough to survive the aesthetics cap coming in clutch. Can you find the shadow demon? That's what feels like the piece of the puzzle here for Gaiman. Can you find White Mon? Take Ooh, that Thompson, out. they still got him despite the Burrow Strike. What a lasso! Pulled him out of the safe. Still, though, Thompson? No! BKB Bloodstone is not going to be enough. Media buyback, though. Can he get to this fight in time? All five members, if Gaming Gladiators push the issue, which they don't for now. But Celery, who is a big part of the damage component for Gaming Gladiators, gets spotted, but he couldn't get grabbed. The pit came out. Brew a little bit of distance here. Tundra going to go for a different mark, and to quit. Has to use speed KB. Throws out some daggers. Sonic Wave on it, too. Pure pops his ultimate early here. While Ramses still needs to find a Doom mark. They still back away, smoke even, to try and get a better angle on the initiation. That's a win for Gaiman, though. They took down the Sand King. Their cooldowns are resetting here. Lasso up at nine. Gaming Gladiators are confident they'll be able to handle this one, but is it going to be too much? Ace, he's so tanky, but made so squishy by the damage. Thompson. Still, though, Thompson's in trouble. Death Shroud disruption as well. Healings are coming in. Ace is taking his he's stats. So taking his it. stats. Pure is going for him. Thompson not going to make it out just yet, but White Mon's in trouble. Sox is in trouble as well. The supports are going down. Gaming Gladiators are winning this fight. How far can they take it, though? Do they 
dare to chase down Ramses and Pure as well, or would they back up for the Roshan? They want everything. They want as buyback much as they can, but maybe that's a mistake. They're stumbling into buybacks now. Teeping onto Tier 2 is Quinn. He, he has, has no, mana. no mana left, and Pure sees that opportunity. Some heals coming in. It's not enough. A failed is enough. Pure trying to get out. Has his ultimate. It's up refresher. just in time. And a Deliver. refresher. He managed to get himself a refresher. Another ultimate. Another swing. Hungry, hungry, Can not quite enough. The shots for the impetus get him. He's dead. A death hundred seconds on the clock. Game and gladiators wounded but not dead, will take as much as they can from Tundra. They'll force another BKB out of Ramses. They'll go in deep. Alasso pulling him back. How many spells do they have? Die back Oh Ramses. my god, a die back for Ramses. Game of Gladiators may have used some big buybacks, but they are going to get so much for it. Two lanes of barracks, and they still have a chance to back up and take Roshan off. They won, or they could go for the throw. They Quinn has made the call. He wants Megas. Seven Slark. seconds. Five more seconds. Can he get here in time? Duraccio and Quinn have to wait out a glyph. This is These a risky push. seconds are crucial. If you can Tops and get his initiation, the Alchemist Illusion right now is stopping his blinking, so it's up to Pure to make the jump instead. He hits the Queen of Pain, but to look at Duraccio, he's focused on the objectives. He realizes this isn't going to be good enough. Their damage isn't good enough. Now they have to try and get a retreat, but Alchemist is in trouble. Duraccio has to pop his BKB. There goes the epicenter. Topson slowing down these heroes, trying to stick on top of anybody he can. It's going to be the Celery Enchantress. No, he gets four staff defensively. Gate comes out from this Underlord. His supports are so far away on the map. They're ground boots. He's support. playing entirely solo, trying to go for a seal on an Aegis. He will find nothing. And now he's in the pit. Now he has to make a retreat. He has no more pounces left, and he wants to so wait out this one and then pop a refresher. He's got three. He waits for a team. Thompson fights the bat. He goes for the bat right on Sonic Wave, puts them all the way from the bat, and he yules. He might just be able to get off the lasso. Think for the doom. Managed no way got blocked by the link. It's Ramsey Sutherland fight. It's still though. The Sand King is in the midst. Durant with his PKB. Pure is going for it and hits the back line. Man's to finish off the Underlord. No comeback from him. Two Pure dead. They've in. got the numbers advantage. Do they have the damage? You They've got, got him. Durant's dead. Celery's up next. No way. Base being siege. The sustain, the save, the refresher on the Slark. Still Tundra. They're just gonna man up for Roshan here. Yeah, look at Quinn. He is getting close to the pit, and Shivas reveals them inside of the Roshan pit. Pure. Getting Early a couple BKB. of stacks here. Throws out the nullifier. Got a BKB out of him. They're in a deep corner here. Does Game and Gladiators like where this fight is being positioned at? They go for Celery. Mirshaw walks up a nice Sonic Wave. Hitting on a three. But still, Celery's in trouble. He's broken and he's dead. Ramsey's refreshed. Looking for another Doom target here. But they're fighting into buyback with the outpost territory. There it is. Buyback on the Celery. He's going to be coming in soon. They got Quinn locked down. Another one dead. One into two. Tundra. Can they get more? Duracho sees his opportunity with the buyback coming in for Quinn. Can they push through? Ramsey's low. Disruption. Managed to buy in some time. Pure is getting a lot of stacks, oh, though. Oh. Pure is getting bigger and bigger. Last slam from Thompson. There goes out the lasso. Managed to get one. Thompson's not, uh, still fine. Game of Gladiators are running out of damage, it seems. These buybacks are not doing Thompson enough. Down. No. Another Sonic Wave. They got Thompson. A pull forward from Soxa. Couldn't actually do that much. Now he's in danger as Duracho looks to be able to run him down. Nah, you're not getting out of here. None of that. Thompson he goes down. Game and Gladiators throw buyback after buyback, but they hold the Roshan pit. It's a bit of a problem for Game and Gladiators to consider. Do you really want to push this right now while he has those stacks? Oh, oh Tojo, he went fishing. He doesn't find anything. Instead, he's going to be knocked off of Sonic Wave trying to protect this Bat Rider, but no! He dies, and now the Burrow Strike trying to get through the Lincoln, trying to get through the Mirror Shield. Quake committee committee down gets one. the base. He gets the Megas. Ace is out of Game here through out. the portal. Duraccio's on out of here too, but they are going to be able to catch Celery here. Quinn, he's back in a play through that gate. Thompson, he has retreats to the high ground with these Zipidus landing onto him while the Tusk is left behind. That is a dieback. A scythe onto Thompson. He won't die from this. He gets back, but look at the throne. It's totally exposed and Megas are coming. Just so much spell black. He threw out one on Ace. I think it got blocked by a Lincoln's proc. He can wait for time, Thompson. They'll draw one there. To get the Doom on to Ace. A big kill with a null fire. They shred him, but so does Thompson. Almost dying to Disruption. Buy some time. A second He's Sonic alive. Wave in miss. Thompson's okay. Thanks for now. Disruption. Don't pull back in Death Shard. Wait a minute. He still has a little bit of more time as the Disruption buys him life after life. So many second lives for Tundra. Whether it's buybacks, whether it's the snowballs or the disruptions, and Thompson.
strikes again, trying anyway. Stuck in this slow. Another disruption going out. Gaming Gladiators not over committing. They know the Sark is coming back into play soon. Hex Managed to get turn. a scythe on him. Managed to get the hex on him. Can they Stop bust him down? They've got him. One more buyback. Tundra. They have a buyback left on Thompson, and that's all that's left. Do Gaming Gladiators keep this going? They are just slowly smothering. Oh, trying to wait. get out. Oh. A reset the through the gate was a bold move, and now, uh oh, uh oh, Ramses has to use his BKB. Otherwise, ah, the lasso! Tofu gets the lasso to pull him back into his death. That is a dieback. Thompson, he's gonna have to use his buyback perhaps. He wants a kill out of it he's though first. He gets bit Tofu. Wait a minute, refresh BKB. No way, the no fucking way. He pops his BKB, hits the epicenter, and he is living. He doesn't use his second life, not quite yet, not quite now. The sand got fall. He balled. has to use it. Look at the throne, it's just dying to Oh catapult. my god, the epicenter was still going on his life and it helps clear out the creeps. High They're strategizing Lord. right now. They've decided to go for a smoke and let's see where they let it lie. Are they gonna go up to top? They're, They're gonna, gonna the go throne. through the gate. They're it's gonna go straight for the throne. All in on this one. They pop their beat. They go straight for the throne and it is all. to the very break, and they just shove Tundra down into the pit. They will make their move one more time. Like fate, they will move up to the TI Finals.